Hello, my name is Fox and I'm a science interpreter here at the Franklin Institute. And this is a Tesla coil. It produces a high voltage alternating current bit of electricity. And that's not important right now because we're here to talk about sound. Now, when we think about sound, we're talking about vibrations of air molecules, basically just wiggly air, right? We call these uh, vibrations of air molecules waves, sound waves. So if we have fewer sound waves per second, we're gonna get a lower pitch. If you have more sound waves per second, we call that higher pitch. We call this measurement of frequency hertz. Now, humans generally hear sounds from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Or if you're old like me, stop somewhere about 14,000. It happens with age, it's okay. If we turn on the Tesla coil, you'll see sparks. Now this is the pulse setting, which means that it's switching on and off very, very quickly. The superheating of air is causing the molecules in air to spread out and vibrate, which is creating that sound wave. So if we turn up the frequency or numbers of vibration per second, you can hear the pitch rising and then falling as we lower that frequency. Now, if someone were to find a way to assign this to different notes on a keyboard, perhaps you can make music with it. Oh, wait a minute. We already did that. So this device works by taking MIDI notes. It's a way that uh, people can use musical instruments and computers and you have them communicate. Now, in this case, what happens is we assign the low C here to one of the lower frequencies on the Tesla coil. And if you move up to the highest one, that's one of the highest frequencies. Let's, uh, let's try something else. So it may not sound like the greatest instrument ever, but it's a pretty awesome way to make noise with electricity. So I hope you enjoyed this electrifying performance. My name is Fox, and thank you for doing science with us.